Hey guys, another day in the life of a 3D print designer, and I got up early today to go get my husband coffee for a bunch of his meetings, so I went and got that first and then took the doggies out and chilled and rested a little bit while the doggies went bathroom and then cleaned up the yard a little. Then come in and check all the overnight prints, get them off the build plate, see how everything works. Then of course it's sitting down, getting computer work done, posting new models, checking social media, and then painting these doggies that I need to print and go out later this week. And going over to my pen and stylus to get more of these details in after I get the basic colors in. Which makes everything so much easier. Painting is always the last thing I do in my model making process. And um, sometimes I cut it a little bit close. These need to print and go out the next day. <laughs> So finishing up these guys, then social media, we are posting about those new guys that went up today. And I'm still trying to catch up on public releases versus Patreon releases, taking photos. And then I am eating my breakfast again with the doggies, letting them chill and play. They're very happy doggies, very toasty. And then we did dishes, got all the dishes done. <sighs> caught up for that morning um and then of course i'm tired so me and doggies are laying down because i got up early sand table because sand table is best so nice to look at and then got up got some fulfillment switched out for the new doggies to get sent and started up my husband was like, so why don't you go pick up dilly bars when you go return the things to Home Depot? And I was like, you know what, that is a great idea and also a great way to motivate me to leave the house. So yes, we're doing that. Important dilly bar pickup after Home Depot. Checking on the doggies that I got going right before I left. Sand table, of course. Um, and then I still felt so tired today because I got up early. My body was so tired. So we did some work from our little cozy corner here. And then finally felt well enough to get up and go to my desk, work on some things there. Editing some new model pieces, getting keychains ready, dinner time. And then sending new, pet, new test prints. More and more test prints all the time. <laughs> and looking at that in the slicer, there were some things I didn't quite like. So you see me going over to my iPad real quick, making that modification and bringing it back into Bamboo, slicing it up again, checking everything. And then saving my files and sending them to print. And of course, Cal wanted to say hi and see how I was doing because he's a good bully. And then Baby is snoozing in my husband's office. And we're laying down again. <laughs> but then I got up for walkies with my dog because I love him. And we laid down after that because I still was not feeling that great. And finally recouped enough energy to get up and finish all these doggy head keychains that I was working on all day. There's like... 30 of these that I just decided to mass do, and so now I'm going to try and get them colored. So, starting off with the schnauzer, we're going in coloring all these little heads that are going to be keychains and straw toppers. And I have a lot of doggies out already, so I desperately need to catch up on <laughs> the straw toppers and keychains, because I've only done one set of them so far. So, getting all these guys colored. And then dinner time for the doggies, getting all their food. They're being good doggies. Cal eats in his crate because otherwise Baby will steal his food. Checking on the doggies right before bed and it is bedtime. The baby is ready to snuggle up for the night. So that was a long day, but hopefully y'all enjoyed me taking y'all along for that. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.